What I'm hoping for is like a movie where Muhammad is neither good or bad. You know what I mean? Like he, like you could, people could watch it, and some people could be like, "Ooh, why did he do that?" But that was good. Like you know what I mean? Like it's not like black and white, where you could be like uh, a, a complicated person, just like real life, right? That you can't cheer for him and you can't hate him, but you could see the conflict that is happening. You know, just the good, like just like good movies and good TV series, where the you know e good and evil is not so so black and white, where you have good people and bad. Exactly. People. Yeah, something like that. A movie like that about Muhammad would be so fucking interesting. I, I think there needs to be a bio, a, a, a biopic on Muhammad right. that's based on, especially I think I, I, when I was I saw the Dan Gibson documentary about the Petra thing, and I saw Tom Holland stuff on it, right. and I thought I, I was like, this would make such a an oh amazing. God. If you had a fictional premise, I mean, I was watching that and I was thinking, Dan Gibson, I was thinking of Dan Brown. And I was thinking of uh, the Da Vinci Code. And Imagine oh, yeah. if you had some sort of a revisionist thing with really, really solid historical evidence backing it. Right. You know, and um, it, it would be fantastic if we did that. And I hope that happens at some point. Or even I'd be if, very happy to even get involved. If, or even a fictional one. Where, well, like, I'm talking about a fictional one. I think that that would be, right. I think that's more powerful. Because right. fictional stuff is stuff that uh, you know th i love the stuff that is fictional but it has a lot of real basis to it like dan brown the thing with his book is he's just hey you guys this is just fiction but it really upset a lot of the christian um uh, sort of the really the christian evangelicals because they're like yeah but this has real christian stuff in it you're messing with this but he's like oh, yeah, it's fiction <laughs> and i love that i love it when people do that secular jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.